AI, SEO, AEO, GEO, and what's actually real. If you've been online lately, you've probably noticed everyone throwing around tech acronyms like confetti. SEO, AEO, GEO, SERP, AI, GAI, Super AI. Sounds impressive, right? But here's the truth. Most people using those words don't actually understand them. <laughs> and in 2025, that confusion is exactly how tech companies sell small businesses things they don't really need. So let's break it all down. No jargon, no hype, just the facts. SEO, you know what SEO is, right? Search engine optimization. It's the foundation of digital visibility. It's all about helping Google understand who you are, what you do, and why your content deserves to rank in your market and outside of your market. For 20 years, SEO has been about keywords, backlinks, site structure, and user experience, all signals that tell Google, hey, this is relevant. But now we're entering a new era. Search is not what it used to be. Uh, maybe in some markets, smaller markets, you're still seeing the traditional Google. In other parts of the world and in bigger areas, it's being replaced by summaries. So we used to type a question into Google and get a list of links. That's a search engine. Now we ask a question and AI answers it, okay? <laughs> so AEO, you know, is about optimizing your content to be the answer, answer engine optimization, not just one of the blue links. It means using structured data, FAQs, conversational tone, and clear authority signals so that AI-powered systems like Google's SGE or chat GPT search can now pull your content directly into their summaries. So instead of being ranked, your content gets referenced, okay? This is the next evolution. AEO is about making your content readable by AI. GEO is about making your content usable by AI. Think of it this way. Instead of writing content for people or search engines, GEO means you're writing content that AI can remix, quote, or summarize accurately. It's about context, citations, depth, not just keywords, okay? Keywords is yesterday's news. You gotta have a solid foundation, yes, but GEO is what's going to matter most when every answer engine comes from an AI-generated summary. SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page, okay? That used to mean a list of websites, 10 blue links, maybe some ads, but now Google and other platforms are replacing that in some markets with an AI summary. That's a block of generated text that answers your question without ever sending traffic to your website. It's all gonna change, man, it really is. That's a massive shift. It means traditional SEO is, I mean, you still have to have a foundation, but what worked five years ago is not gonna keep working. You're not fighting for position one anymore. You're fighting to uh, be included inside the AI summary, okay? so. Let the people fight for position one. That's okay, all right? Uh, but you wanna make sure that you have relevant content. The real marketing strategy for 2026, create content that AI trusts enough to quote. Everybody says they're using AI, right? Everybody, uh, AI, yeah, we're having AI do that. We're having, oh yeah, AI does that, okay. But most of what's being sold is AI isn't intelligent at all. It's just automation. <laughs> it's steps built into software. It's not AI. And a set of rules, you know, pre-programmed steps, conditional logic that's been around for decades. So, but that's being confused with AI because AI is so hot. Everybody's like, oh, AI, AI. AI is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but how you know, novices are talking about it, you can just tell instantly they have no clue. True AI doesn't follow instructions. First of all, it learns from patterns and predicts outcomes without being told exactly what to do. So when a CRM sends an automated text message after a missed call, that's not AI. <laughs> it's being sold as AI, it's not AI. That's a script, okay? When a chatbot gives you the same answer every time, that's not AI, that's a flow chart. Real AI adapts, learns, and evolves with the data. That's what companies like OpenAI and Google are chasing. And then GAI is when AI systems can understand, reason, and make decisions across multiple domains. 
like kind of like a human brain that doesn't get tired. Today's AI models like ChatGPT or Gemini are narrow. They're powerful, really powerful, but still specialized. They can generate, summarize, and analyze, but they don't truly understand the world. That's the hypothetical next level when machines surpass human intelligence entirely. They don't just process information faster. They can innovate, reason, and even make moral or strategic decisions independently. That's when you need to worry about losing your job. <laughs> Seriously. And that's coming on strong and fast. It really is. That's what Elon Musk and Sam Altman and other futurists are all debating right now. Not whether it can be built, but whether humanity can control it once it exists. And most people are saying the answer is no. And they're also saying we're past the tipping point. So what does this all mean for a small business? It means you don't have to fear the acronyms. You just have to understand what's real and what's marketing hype. SEO still matters very much, but it's how AI finds trustworthy data. AEO and GEO are coming on fast, and they'll decide whether your content gets seen or buried, whether you're the answer or not in an AI summary. And AI tools, they're only as smart as the humans running them. And in some cases, they're pretty stupid. <laughs> The future of marketing isn't about chasing buzzwords. It's about clarity, content, and credibility. Because when everything is generated by machines, the businesses that sound human will be the ones people trust the most. We're humans, man. I'm Max from Max Out Creative. If this made you think about anything in a different way, would you give me a thumbs up? Appreciate it very much. I'll be back for more. Just a few more. My goal is almost met. So thanks for watching.